everybody, welcome back to my channel. So for you guys today, I'm going to be doing a, I don't know what I'm going to call this. It's kind of like an anti-haul, but not really. So like a get it or forget it, where I'm going to be talking about um, all the things on Trend Moods Instagram page um, that are like new makeup releases that I'm either interested in or that I think are stupid. And if I'm interested in them, I'm going to tell you why I'm interested in them. And if I think they're stupid, I'm going to tell you why I think they're dumb. Um, but yeah, so these are all opinions. It's just makeup. I think these types of videos were started by Kimberly Clark. Don't quote me on it, but I think so. Um, if you guys are interested in this makeup look, I just filmed this look before I did this video. So that I'm hoping will go up before this, but I don't know. Maybe this will go up first because this one's more time relevant. But anyway, there'll, there'll be a makeup video up for this look. Um, but yeah, with that being said, let's get started. Hopefully, I'll remember to insert the pictures here. Yeah. Okay, so the first thing I am seeing is this XX. And I'm looking at this on my like my very cracked screen protected iPad. Um, is the XX Revolution by Makeup Revolution Matrix Collection. And it's pretty, but how much, how much is this? So $25, 25, 35, 12, 20. No, absolutely not. Hell no. Just, I, I think if you like the Matrix, maybe you would like this, but I, I don't even know what the Matrix is to really comment on it. I think it's like a movie, maybe, but the palettes, you're going to be getting revolution, makeup revolution eyeshadow quality. That's the thing. Is it's an off-brand, or not an off-brand, it's a sister brand of makeup revolution. And makeup revolution's quality is not that great. <laughs> it is not $20 great. Like, they're charging... I mean, the, the Neo eyeshadow palette, where is that? This, I'm going to insert another picture here, hopefully. But that palette is $35. And I'm like, are you out of your freaking mind? Hell no. Pass. Not even, well, yeah, just pass. I'm passing. I don't like the color stories. You've got like a very reddish one. And then you have like a very cool toned blue one. And there, no, just no. Just no. Next. All right. So the next thing is... The BH Cosmetics Halloween collection. It's called Poison Shock. And it's very... Okay, I like this. I'm planning on getting this because I like most of the color stories. I like how it's like poison themed because you've got like ghost pepper, which is one of the hottest chilies on the planet, which will kill you if you eat too much of it. You've got absinthe. Absinth? I can't say that word. You have nightshade. You have scorpion sting. And they're all like color coordinated. So you have like a green palette. A blue palette. Like a purpley pink palette. A black to silver. Like a silvery white palette. And a red palette. And it's just very very color coordinated. It's almost like Colourpop's um, monochromatic palettes. But if it's BH's formula... And it's the same formula that they used in their Sweet Shop palettes. It's going to be gorgeous. The other thing that they have that I would like to get is the Strobe Show palette. And it's like one of their highlighter palettes. And I know that um, a lot of makeup artists really love their highlighter formulas. And then they're also releasing a, br a brush set. I want the whole collection. Like straight up, I want the whole collection. I'm not going to buy the whole collection Mainly because the whole collection isn't available on Ulta's website and I can use my discount to get 25% off. So, yes. But I, I am going to be getting at least part of this collection. Yes. Alright, so this next one is Kylie Cosmetics. Kylie Cosmetics. Kylie Cosmetics. What the hell, Shanna? Um, it is... Oh, it's a collaboration. It's Kylie Cosmetics and a Nightmare on Elm Street. Isn't that the Freddy Krueger movie? I feel like that's the Freddy Krueger movie. No. Just like from the pictures 
I have to keep doing this so I can rem remind myself to do it. Just from the pictures, it's like a very, like, what is this? You have a red, you have, it's either black or dark blue, kind of like a burgundy color, some pinky reds, and then a bunch of neutrals. Halloween is like the one, yeah, this is like the Freddy Cougar movie. It's all about like the burn scars and shit. Um, and then it's in like a VHS tape packaging. I do not like her liquid lipsticks. I think they're like crinkly, but what does this come with? It has the eyeshadow palette, the lip lacquer trio, false lashes, lip and cheek jelly stain. Hell no. No, because like there's only one color of that and that's not gonna look good on everybody. And then those lashes look cheap as fuck. Sorry. They look cheap. Like you can see where they're gapping in the middle. Why would I want that? No. Just no. And like I, I don't even like the packaging. It's like she she tried too hard. No. Just no. No, no, no. No. Next. And yes, I'm channeling from Teresa is dead. We have another, I think this, oh no, this is from Essence. Okay, we have a thing from Essence. It is their, the Coffee to Glow collection. It includes an under, under eye energy treatment, a healthy glow face scrub, scented highlighter brush, coffee lip scrub, highlighter beans, body and mind wake up mist eyeshadow palette. I think I like the idea sorry i'm getting comfy now i like the idea of this but those highlighter beads like i'm looking at the picture right now there's like very very pale ones which would work for me then you have like mid-tone ones which maybe like if i used a lot of bronzer all over my body you could use or i could use and then there's like deeper ones so they've kind of got like three different highlighter shades in one thing and i can't you know i'm too pale for that um, the eyeshadow palette, it's, it's cute. It's not giving me, like, coffee vibes. They could have had a lot darker in there because, like, dark roast, and then you've got, like, blonde roast, you've got, there's a whole bunch of different colors with coffee. They could have included, like, an orange one and named it pumpkin spice or something, and this is just, like, a very basic-ass neutral palette, and that's coming from, like, a basic-ass bitch. And I, I love basic colors, but this, and then you've got like that one shade that looks like the Huda Beauty palette that looks like COVID from last year. No, no, no. And they don't even look like they swatched that well. <sighs> On trend mode. So I like the idea of that. I just think that the execution of it seem to have failed a little bit so i'm gonna say pass if you get that please let me know how it turned out um i would appreciate it what is this so this next thing looks like Too faced holiday 21 online sephora some retailer so Too faced is releasing a better than sex ornament for $14, a Better Than Sex Vault for $78, a Pumping Station to Go for $32, Stuff My Stocking for $30, Holly Jolly Hangover Set for $29, Hangover Pillow Balm Lip Balm Set for $35, Christmas in the City Makeup Set $59. Um, let's just, let's just look at the pictures really quick. No. How is that supposed to work? It doesn't even show up on the model's skin tone. No. Hell no. Just no. Pass on that. Especially for the money. Like, Too Faced is kind of reaching for that. Um, okay. So, the next thing is the Fenty Beauty. And it's the Glossy Posse. Glossy Posse fantasy force for some um basically it's a limited limited edition uh gloss bomb set kind of 
I would, I could see myself buying this. I don't know if I would, uh, just because, like, with me having to wear a mask at work, all the time, lip glosses tend to get, like, covered, like, they cover my mask on the inside and then I'm stuck with that feeling all day but like if it weren't for COVID I could possibly see myself buying this because I like the idea because there's a full-size gloss balm cream in candy milk there's mini gloss balm lip luminizers in Fenty Glow Fantasy Hot Chocolate Fantasy and Champ Stamp Fantasy so, and I know from previous experience that Fenty, with their lip products anyway, they usually have very universal shades. Um, so they will show up on me, but they'll also show up on somebody who's got a deeper skin tone. So I like the idea of this, and I think if it weren't for COVID, I would probably purchase this. Excuse me. And be quite content with it. But because... I have to wear a mask at work because, you know, it's like limited edition. Because I like Fenty's Gloss Bomb formula. Mm. No, I'm, I'm going to say no for me for right now. Um, But maybe if masks ever go away, I would consider it. Ooh, okay, I want this. This next item thing, I want so bad. All right, so this is the new Mega Palette from ColourPop. It is the Play It Jewel 30 Matte and Shimmery Shades, and they're coming out with an eye primer. Okay, I might get both of those. I would like both of those. I love this. To me, this palette looks very fall. Like, you have the burgundies, you have, like, the dark blues, you have, like, the lavenders. I mean, it's, like, it's a very cooler-toned fall palette. Because there's not really a whole lot of warm tones in here, from what I can tell. There are a couple, but it's not a lot. It's mostly, like, purpley burgundies and, like, maybe a couple of greens in there. With, like, some lighter transition shades. I like the idea of this. My one concern is the fact that I would need to watch a couple of reviews on it and then maybe I'd make one myself. But ColourPop's formula is very inconsistent palette to palette. And so this is $35. That's, isn't it 35? I think it's, oh my goodness. Sorry, I've been awake since, what time is it? 7.30 this morning? Um, And it's noon, so I've been awake for like four and a half hours. Oh, shit. Okay. Sorry about that. I had to make a phone call. Um, but anyway, I want this palette. I just don't know if I want to spend that much money on a palette that I'm not sure of the formula of. Um, so... Yeah, I want it. Is it eight? Mm. Body proof eye primer. I want to try the eye primer. You know what? It's it's a yes. I would get this. You know, I'm I'm probably going to get this at some point. Not even gonna lie. All right. The next thing is something else for Makeup Revolution or yeah, Makeup Revolution. This is their Simpsons collab. And I have seen this at Ulta because it came to Ulta. And I'm going to tell you now, firm, no. Just no. Like, the sponge that's the yellow dude's head, the dad from that show, has got a hole in it. Like, it's shaped like a donut. How the hell are you supposed to blend makeup with a donut-shaped sponge? Um, The lip glosses look... Not bad, but, like, not my favorite either. The brush set, I think Makeup Revolution's brush set prices are a bit pricey for what Makeup Revolution quality usually is. Um, the highlighter 
Are they highlighter and blush duos? Maybe. That would be kind of cute, but I don't know how I feel about that. And then just overall, like, the palette, it's just a rainbow palette. I mean, that's all it is. It's just a freaking rainbow palette. And it's not even, like, a well-organized rainbow palette. They've got, like, oranges next to blues, next to, like, pinks, next to yellow, next to white. It's very, like, discombobulated, and I don't really like it. They've got, like, two, what are those, lip scrubs? Maybe. Yeah, the only thing I actually kind of want from this collection is the makeup bag. Because that thing in real life is huge. It's like this big. I'm not even kidding. It is like bigger than my head and it's huge. And I love a big makeup bag. So out of that collection, that would probably be the only thing I bought. Would be the makeup bag. But yeah, no, I don't, I don't like the that looks. I don't like it. I'm sorry. Okay, so next is the makeup makeup oh my god i'm so tired is the mac cosmetics x rosalia a a a a a a culture what the fuck <laughs> mac cosmetics x rosalia a couture couture i don't know I have no idea how to say that. Um, but it's it's like an eyeshadow palette. It looks like a face palette. Some liquid lipsticks and some bullet lipsticks. And the packaging is really pretty. But uh, I don't know about the rest of it. That's pretty, but like... No! Hell no! Where do you get the fifth shade from, you dipshit? Because there's only four shades in this face palette. But the model, the arm model has got, they each have five. And, like, it looks like the only person that this palette would, like, work for majority of the time is, like, the pale person all the way over on the right. What are those? Are they, like, liquid eyeshadows or something? Just no. There's... Four lipsticks, there's four matte liquid lipsticks, nail adornments, no, and there's nail polish, hell no. Listen, I'm not going to spend, I don't care who the hell you are, I'm not going to spend $25 a piece on some nail polish. Are you crazy? I don't even like spending the $8 a bottle I spend on sinful colors. Hell no. Uh-uh. Absolutely not. Mm-mm. Nope, 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 nope. Pass. Goodbye. Not today. Okay. This next thing. I thought it was KVD just because of the packaging. Um, hopefully you guys are seeing it here. But this is the hip dot egg. Adam's Family 2 collection. You have the Spells and Hexes pigment palette. You have the Morticia lipstick trio. You have the collector's box, which is $58. I've never tried Hip Dot. I kind of, listen, I like how this looks. I do. I really, really do like how this looks because it's very Halloween y. Like, I can see. How it's the Adams family. Because you have like the white and the red. Looks like a black. You know, it makes sense, especially like for the packaging. The packaging looks like it's on point. I just, I've never tried Hip Dot's formula, so I don't know if it's a good quality or not. And when you're paying, what is it? 24 and 24 is 48. So $48 for an 8-pan palette and three lipsticks. I don't know. I don't know, but I like it. So I would say yes if you want to try that. Because I think if you were to buy like the PR box or the collector's box, it could be like a really cool 
display piece. I know it's kind of dumb to buy makeup for display purposes, but I, I mean, I do. I would set that up behind me and keep it up all year, so I'm going to say yes to that. And then, okay, <clears throat> ColourPop again. This is going to be a long-ass video. Has released another Hocus Pocus collection, and they've re-released the original one from last year. Um, I don't know. I'm, no, just pass, because it's mostly shimmer shades is what it looks like. Shimmers are satins, and I need, like, more mattes in my crease for that. I kind of like the look of the lippy, because it's kind of like those cream lip stain thingies that they've got going on. And I kind of like how the dark purple Super Shock looks, but that would be, what the heck, about it that I would get from that collection, so... Pass on a palette, maybe to the lips, and maybe to, like, a super shock. And then... Hidden Dash released a liquid eyeliner. I'm, I'm gonna say no. Not even because it looks like it's bad. It looks quite nice. Um, I can't do liquid eyeliner. I can't, so I'd say no to that. Are we... No... Okay, so the next thing I want to talk about is the Lunar Beauty Moonspell Volume 2 palette. Um, I, mm, okay, I don't know how I feel about this because I love the packaging. It's almost the exact same packaging as what the Moonspell palette was. It's just, it's slightly different. It has, let me shade through this one. It has five more shades, so that makes me think that the pans are probably a little bit smaller. And it has, like, the one liquid lipstick and it looks like two glosses. But it's all, like, purpley tones. The problem is, is I don't know if this is as dark as what I would want it to be. Because looking at this, it looks like the black that's in this palette, the shade Maria has got micro glitter in it and I hate that like give me a matte black so I can add depth to the colors and I would be happy I like the idea and I like the commitment to the packaging and I like the theme I even like how the liquid lips look or the lip glosses and stuff look oh my goodness and I think I probably will buy it, but I'm kind of nervous because, like, one of these shades is a freaking Barney-ass purple. Milda, or Hilda, is a Barney purple. And then there's, like, a royal purpley blue shade next to it. And I'm going to say yes, and I want to get it, but it's, like, a nervous yes. What else we got? thing is Jaclyn Hill is collabing with Morphe once more for a 12 pan palette that is all neutrals and I like this palette I think I might get this if it comes to Ulta just because I think it's a good staple palette and do I need another staple palette no but I think because I do want to practice makeup on other people um, that this would be a good palette to have for that just because you can get like the very light looks, the very dark looks. It could be like a really good day to night palette or even like a bridal palette. So I'm going to say yes to that. Um, BH Cosmetics is, has released a collection with Doja Cat and I'm going to say no, not even because I think it's, it's bad. I think it looks fine, but did you? <laughs> I can't. I cannot because the freaking brush handles kill me because they look like something you would shove up your butt when you want to be kinky. Oh my thing, I think unless I can find it. But Morphe is releasing the has released the Sour Patch Kids collection. And this I'm, okay, I swatched it at Ulta because, you know, I work at Ulta and it was out. 
and the lip scrubs smell so good like I could eat those they smell so good okay and then the sponges feel like pretty soft from what I can tell with them being in the package and dry and the palette actually from like the few swatches I seem to do seem to like the swatches I did it seems to be very pigmented um I I would almost be interested in this if it weren't for the fact that I know I have all these colors and I don't use like rainbow palettes that often but I think if for whatever reason you want a Morphe palette or a rainbow palette from Morphe and you don't have the James Charles palette I think you would probably like this so it's gonna be a no for me but I think other people would probably enjoy it um but I think this is Morphe's just limited edition attempt at kind of drawing an interest like they did for the James Charles palette that's my opinion there's one other thing I want to talk about mainly because I ordered this and I don't want this to be like a completely no 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 Oh, no, okay, there's two more things. The Primrose palette from ABH, I'm buying that. Like, hands down, I am buying that. I've swatched it. I love it. I want it, and I'm buying it. Okay? Haul coming soon. I want it. And I'm buying it. It, at first I thought it kind of looked a little bit like soft glam, but it doesn't. The colors, I don't know why they look so pale on camera, but they're a lot deeper than what they look like on Trend Moon's Instagram page. And I love them. I love them. I love them. I love it so much. Um, Vive, Jamie Genevieve's brand, has released the Muse palette, lip liner, and lipstick. And I bought all three of them. I also bought, like, her original collection. So, like, the Essential palette, too. So I'm going to be doing a review on those once I get them. But I did order the Muse one from Cult Beauty. And I'm very excited about it. Because it looks like it's very like pinky purpley tones. And I love that. Like that. Oh my god. Listen. I love like a warm toned smoky eye. But I also really love a good red lipstick. And that's what that looks like. And like the red lip liner. Oh my god. And then the eyes. Oh my god. I want it so bad. So I bought it. <laughs> but yeah um that is it for today's video you guys i hope you enjoyed it if you did please do not forget to subscribe and give it a thumbs up i would very much greatly appreciate it and with that being said i will see you all in my next video don't forget to let me know what you guys are getting or what you want to get or what your thoughts were on the items that i'm gonna have pop up over here hopefully remember that channel um, but anyway, I'll see y'all in my next one. Bye.